So a little bit about me and screen printing was I own a clothing line and I got tired of paying for everyone to print my stuff for my clothing line. So that's where screen printing came in. In the very beginning, I tried to do vinyl, but after having my shirts printed with screen print, the vinyl just didn't seem right. Um, so after a lot of research, I figured out how to do screen printing. So that being said, about four months ago, I started on a silver press. It's a one station, four color, and got it off of Craigslist. And with trial and error, I learned how to screen print my own stuff. Well, word got out to all, a lot of my friends that own companies, and I started screen printing for them. And four months later, I screen print for quite a bit of companies, not just here in California, but also all the way to New Jersey, Tennessee, within four months. I'm not big. I, I get a couple orders a week, so I still have to have a full-time job. Um, I did upgrade to a four station six color. Um, from, it's not a name brand, but I know the guy that built it. He's a metal fra fabricator. Builds tons and tons and tons of stuff, even flash dryers, conveyor dryers, everything you can think of. And uh, he built this press for me and uh, it's awesome works 10 times better than a one station especially if you're doing mass numbers i remember when i got my first uh order of uh, 340 shirts for an electrician company um when you're doing uh, two color on a single station it took me about a week uh, thank god i didn't have any other orders because um it just took forever long hours long days um but to be where I'm at now on a bigger press makes the world a difference. Um, so that's what's been going on for the past four months. And, um, and I'm just going to give it to you guys straight. I'm never, I'm not going to edit any videos or anything along those lines. Because if I make a mistake, I want you guys to see it. The reason why is... Everybody thinks screen printing is easy. It's not, not by a long shot. Um, so that being said, I'm not gonna edit any videos. If I make a mistake, I want you guys to see it. Screen printing is not easy. Um, so just to give you guys a full taste of what really goes down when you really want to start a, a, a the screen printing business. Um, so you don't jump in half cocked and think you're going to rule the world because nine out of ten times you're not. You're going to uh, go through a lot of failures, um, which I don't see failures. I see them as learning experiences. Um, so that being said, I won't do any edited videos. I will do videos where I stop them and then I'll combine them all and then put them on so you guys get a full taste so again right now we're heading to Home Depot we need to pick up um, a sheet of glass that can go on top of the screen with our film so when we're burning the image it gets a nice tight um, it's nice and tight against the, 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 the screen our film is with our design um, I tried to make do last night and use just a uh, regular clear tape didn't, didn't work that well I know another screen printer that does it that way I've never done it until last night and I don't understand how he gets nice crisp lines not saying he doesn't but I don't know how he does it so I'm going to go back to the way I know and that's using the sheet of glass 
and I learned this in the very beginning. So when I first started, like I said, I was on a, a silver press, uh, one station four color. I was in a little seven by seven shed right at my house. I had a heat gun and a, uh, a heat press. The heat gun was to flash your uh, shirt and the uh, heat press was to cure your design. Um, now I'm in a 10 by 20. I got two flash dryers, the, the four station six color. And again, I'm not big. I still have to have a full-time job. I have a wife and kids, so, but I want this video to show you guys the daily grind, the, the hustle you have to have to do screen printing. And if you guys like this, definitely let me know. If you guys have questions, definitely let me know what you wanna do uh, or what you need help with. I'm definitely here to help you guys. I'm not gonna charge you, you know, $9.99 for uh, how to screen print. That, that's garbage, because there's YouTube. You can learn how to do it on there. There's books. You can learn how to do it on there, and they ain't gonna charge you a thousand dollars to teach you. There's companies out there that will charge you just to show you how to, you know, emotion your screen and stuff. And I didn't learn that way. Again, I learned on trial and error, and I think I've done pretty, pretty darn well. I've got accounts all over the U.S. Now, again, they're not huge accounts, so don't think that they're huge accounts because they're they're not but they're loyal customers so that's a good thing and uh the only thing i have going on is it's veteran owned and operated it's just me and my shop doing it uh so we're pulling here to home depot right now of course everybody here week weekend warriors thinking they know how to build stuff is here you guys don't know i'm in the construction that's what i do for a full time so let's run in and get our sheet of glass and I will let you guys see when I come back out. All right, went into Home Depot, picked up um, the glass that we need. I get the 16 by 20 inch. Um, reason why is my screens that I use are the 20 by 24. And um, for 598, they're pre-cut, ready to go. Um, easy, they fit pretty pretty darn well in my uh, on my screen. So when I burn it, it, comes out with crisp lines. If you're doing anything with really fine detail, you definitely want to make sure that you have uh, your film really really secured on your screen. Um, because if there's any any air coming in whatsoever and it lifts or moves any any slightly, you're not gonna get your crisp line that you're looking for. Um, also, if there ain't enough pressure on it, um, I guess it could take a little bit longer to burn. That's kind of what I think that happened last night when I first tried it. I burnt one screen, moved the glass to the side, got the next screen ready and picked it up and it broke so I just taped it down and it, it didn't work um, went to go wash it out it just acted really faint there were some good ones because actually I was doing neck tags um, some were coming out good some of them weren't so I uh, cleaned up the screen and we're gonna burn it today we got some sleeves that we have to do for a local um uh barber shop we already printed their front their backs and now they want sleeves on both sides done we're going to print those up and then we're also going to print our neck tags in their shirts and also for one of our customers that's out of tennessee we printed their shirt their front and their uh their right sleeve yesterday and we're just gonna do the neck tags for both of these different companies today since we're gonna have the tags on the press. And I like to do that. Um, it's a little bit more work, but the neck tag I put in there is actually my screen printing company, Veteran Screen Printing. 
so they can also they also have our email address in there where they can email any inquiries so if they sell a shirt and our company likes the quality likes the print they can look on the neck tag and see that we're the ones that printed it I don't know if it brings any customers but hey it's nice a lot of people rip out the tags anyways so why not us rip them out and put our stuff in there it's kind of almost like free advertisement that's one thing that I try to uh, get out there is a lot of advertisement I don't pay um, for advertisement um, I just great quality work and uh, pass out business cards whenever you can and if you're at a barber shop Hey, ask if you can put down your business card on their wall or their uh, door or whatever the case might be. Um, so that's how I kind of get the name out. But So we're going to head home. We're going to get this ready. Uh, we're going to get some screens ready and start printing. And we'll, we'll be back in a little bit for that. Alright, so we're back here at the shop. We um, have to clean up a couple of the jobs that we did earlier. We gotta clean up this one. Um, we're going to take our screen that we did not get um, done the way we wanted it yesterday because our glass broke. So we're gonna do that right now. So while we're cleaning the other screen, um, it's drying. So I've already showed a couple of how-to videos on how to um, coat your screen, but I'm gonna be coating the screen right now. Um, get some gloves. Last gloves. Probably should have bought some when I was out. Which I will in a little bit. I like using these ones by my Walmart. They're like automotive. They got little grips on them. Pretty nice. Last night I cleaned this off, degreased it, all that good stuff. versus a sharp edge. Something I've always done. Didn't really find out until about a month ago that there's two edges on it. But I know I've always used the round edge because I tried the sharp edge a couple of days ago and it took a lot of the emotion off. Kind of crazy. sides. Close that up. So I had my cousin, he built me a couple, a couple of these boxes. One he built where the 20 by 24 uh, screens won't fit in. Or 
just a tiny bit off, maybe about a quarter inch. So they don't fit in there, so I just stack them vertically versus horizontal. So help me build that little washout booth that you see. It's kind of nice. It works. Take it over so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I built all this. So this is just a little, uh, you know, flexi board from Home Depot. We got a 21 gallon. Uh, tub and there on the bottom is a drain and it drains out um, these are the shelves that I was talking about he built these would have been really nice if they would have slid in but he also built a second one down here those actually are a little bit too big so I have to cockeye them a little bit for them to fit in and I just put a tarp under there so the screens I just coated are for in the most part in the dark and uh they can dry in there so i'm gonna get to cleaning this we gotta clean up a little bit here in a shop but other than that that's uh gonna be it for today um i'll try to post every couple days some new videos on the journey of the startup life of a screen printer and um, if you guys got any questions, please feel free to comment. If you guys got any better ideas, comment those too. Um, I'm going to be sharing some of my knowledge. Share some of yours if you can. Um, so subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the little bell so you can get new uh, notifications when we come out another video. I'm also going to be doing you uh, some how-to videos. Um, that work for me they might not work for you but you give them a shot you never know and uh, so we can uh, move this uh, journey along got our whiteboard with the jobs that we got to do uh, got another one last night for 30 hoodies so gotta put that in and I might be getting another one but gotta wait for the guy to give me his sizes so we can give him an invoice so like I said if you guys like this you want to see more of these go ahead give me a thumbs up follow subscribe um, and you, like I said if you guys got comments please comment um, knowledge is key in the industry and I'm gonna share what I know and again it might not work for you it might who knows Thanks for, uh, you know, following me along today.